I see you've come back for your daily dose of dingo. Well, you can find this and more alliteration over at my Twitch right there. Enjoy the video. Like four times. All right. So today we're playing some Jun Sack. Basically, I'm just going to jam Ragamon in every deck today because DT keeps complaining that I only play Ragamon decks. So we're just going to further reinforce that I'm just here to play Ragamon. <laughs> What's up, Kiki Jiki? So we're playing a little bit of Junk. Coco into some Spyro, Grist, Mayhem, Devil, Blood Gas, Goblin, Bombardment, Shenanigans. Ragavon, good card. Who would have thought? Should be a fun day. Can you see the list? I haven't built it yet. I'm just, I'm literally just going to splash one Godly Shrine and then replace like four sideboard cards. I'm going to replace like... Two things for two wear tear and then two things for two hollowed moonlight. Let's see how it goes. Probably the two surgicals are gonna get cut for two hollowed moonlight. Probably drop the EEs for wear tear. But EE's also getting us creativity, so it's a blank. Hey. I need black green. I guess I'll start here then. It's like a choose your own adventure book. What land do you want to play? It could be any of them. It's objectively bad, says the guy that puts Aether Vial into literally every deck. Yo, okay. Is it really spite if you already do it? That's the secret. You'll never know. <laughs> this is just a normal dingo stream. Nothing outlandish today. Uh, I think I'm just going to jam this Bayhem Devil. Basic. Is there a basic mountain in this list? This is the wrong list. Where's Sack? Where did Sack go? <laughs> Finding decks on Moto is a fucking nightmare. There's a basic mountain. Hmm. Well, if they don't equip a hammer onto a pure steel this turn, we should be okay. Easy brew day at work, hell yeah. Stoneforge. Oh no. Still have Cigar to Zade. I don't imagine they have Cigar to Zade if they are just leading on this. I want to be able to go like Mayhem Devil this turn and then Double Spell, Bombardment, Blood Gas next turn. I could also do Croaksa. I really wish I had a fetch land here. Why did I fetch last turn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm realizing this now. Mistakes were made. Hmm. <clears throat> Could I go Croaksa instead? I Goblin Bombardment Croaksa. One, two. Kill the Pure Steel. I guess that's my best line. Discard of the plane. So the last card in hand is Hammer. Get him out of here. Attack for four, say go. Yeah, I shouldn't have fetched last turn. That was a mistake. Well, that's fine. Pretty sure we can race this. I don't even know if they're going to attack here. I guess I could have, in response to that, lost my ignoble and killed this. I should have done that. I forgot about Cauldra. I was like, oh, they're just going to get like a hammer or something. Nah, I forgot. Yeah, I should have. I messed up. I think I can still win, though. I think I can still win. Play that. Ran in six. Pick up a land. Play the land. Sacrifice it. Comes back with haste. Play the Ragamon. Nah, I should have sacked the Ignoble. I just messed up. Hold on. I got some plays here. Because this thing also comes back with haste. So if we do that, we pick up the fetch land. Comes back again. And then we sacrifice this again. I think they're dead here. Sack this. Get something untapped. Tap 
attack with both, play the Rogavon, sack my entire board. That should be lethal. Alright. We did it, despite not killing the Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> it's okay, we got there. These are just the warm-up games, so that way we can punt later. Gotta warm up the legs so that way you can kick the, <laughs> kick the football. Kick the football to the field goal when you punt it. I respect the cat. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream, bud. Yeah, I cut the Ragavons. TBH. <clears throat> What's up, Mangu? Ah, my throat is like in shambles today. I apologize. Morning, Mangu. Morning, Slayer. Calphite. Um, maybe too much talking. Gotta be too much talking. Hmm. I don't want to board out against Hammer. Maybe the Croaks does. Croaks doesn't seem great against Hammer. Mangu, what do you think of this absolute atrocity that 5 would on Twitter? <laughs> We're going to play it next. It's called Team Cards I Own, I believe. This looks like an absolute... <laughs> I don't believe in 5 -0s. Only the most competitive magic. Culling ritual stands rise up. Oh, we're going to lose our entire board. Don't worry. I'm going to cut and unearth. 5 four ones in a row. Only those count. This hand doesn't really do anything. Doesn't ramp us. Perfect mana. I'm going to ship this back to. Play cats elementals. I, I'm not a four color gamer. No matter how hard I try. I always get dumpster playing four color. Just gotta put back blood Gast. And then somehow I'll do well with these like mopey black red X decks. <laughs> I can't play a deck without my Ragavan safety blanket. See? DT understands. Without Ragavan, I'm nothing. Blood Gast, bad Skyclave Shade? No, 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 no. Skyclave Shade, bad Blood Gast. <laughs> blood gas it is then <laughs> look i never said i replace the good cards with good cards the news like 60 card elementals have been kind of mopping me in leagues though i think that deck is still very powerful i was also kind of waiting for like an established build to come out at some point this jam this collector oof and i need to bridge in like cooling ritual You're just waiting for a build that plays Ragavan? Yeah. <laughs> four Ragavan, four Ren, four Teferi, four Omnath, a bunch of removal. We'll be chilling. That's the list I can get behind. Well, that's kind of like a land. I guess I have to play it this turn. Just pass. Calling Ritual Waiting Room. My title is 100% going to be Ragavan Free Gaming. I see how it is. You're just, you exist to be my antithesis. That's fine. I accept. One day all that hate's going to weigh you down. <laughs> I'm dashing a Ragavan now. Dedicated to me. I appreciate that, Mangu. Dash that Ragavan called a Furious George. Turn 1 Fury. 8 8 Vin Diesel Lord. <laughs> Now, what are you getting? Needle. Pulling Ritual actually good here. Pulling Ritual is going to blow up their entire board and my entire board. If I draw a land. I think I just take this. Because if I don't draw a land, I need to play this Mayhem Devil and I need to do some jumping. Am I so greedy? I want to wait another turn. Just the greediest person alive. I guess I just have to cast it. Not happy about it. So they got a blacksmith skill. Waited turn get clobbered by a hammer. Um so I get this swamp, huh? Sure. Yeah, we didn't we weren't supposed to hit runner lands. Hitting runner lands was highly unlikely. Alright, go. Hopefully they can't rebuild 
a huge board super quickly. I didn't think that I was going to hit runner land, so I didn't jump with the oof, thinking I wasn't going to hit runner lands, but I ended up hitting it, so hindsight, pure steel. Sophie, I'm in danger. I'm in so much danger. Uh oh. Four, five, six, seven. Can't kill that. I'm right, probably gonna lose the Sophie. No way, I'm stupid. Just don't lose to the Sophie, dingo. Just simply don't lose to the Sophie. <laughs> Attack. And then I can. I guess I ping and kill this now. Cause then I could fetch and ping something else that has one toughness. Pump is out Stone Forge Mystic. No pure steel, no stone forge. Yep. Hmm. Guess I'm saying go. Attacking's pretty pointless. Sanctifier? No. I can't even crack the fetch because I'm going to take 6 this turn. So I guess I just let this go. I don't think I'm winning this game. Unless I draw another Calling Ritual. Calling Ritual will be huge here. Stop it. Stop smacking me. Would have killed the Paladin? How? Okay, for some reason they killed the blood guest. Which means I still maybe have a shot. A little can do attitude. You're right. Grist. It's actually not bad. It gives me a blocker. Except when they move the sword over here. That I can't win at all. Maybe they don't see the line. I'm just gonna hope that they don't move the sword over. And I block here, ping him. Everyone be quiet, don't tell him. Maybe they think this is red. It's got some red in the artwork down there. Aww. Boo. Boo. I think the honors are pretty bad. I don't really know what to cut for it. What the fuck, who told them? <laughs> I told them? Damn it, Slayer. Mage for Saga. I don't think Mage is worth it in this matchup. It's really slow. I need things that impact the board immediately. Do we have lethal? No, we had 5 points of damage. Now we're at 7. I don't think I can keep this. Ugh. That's pretty bad too. I only had 5 points of damage. I sacrificed the insect that's 2 damage. And I sacrificed the fetch land that's 1 damage. And I sacrificed the mayhem devil. And that's two more damage. Blood Yes is not in the graveyard because of Sanctifier. I did not have lethal. Alright, go. What's DT mean? That's Demonic Tutors. Because he complains at me that I always play Ragavan decks. So here we are. It's like, you only play Ragavan decks. You can't leave home without your Ragavan safety blanket. Joke's on him. I never leave home. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to play that. I was probably supposed to play the Stomping Ground. Now I'm going to miss my one trigger. Oh, good. It's almost like it's the best card the four bet. Something like that. So dead. I guess I'm just playing this Mayhem Devil. It's like all for naught though. I didn't get this list from Spike. I got this list, um, I think it was in a challenge. I got, like, top 16 in the challenge. I don't know if this is Spike's list or not. I don't know what Spike's list is composed of. But this was top 16 in the challenge a while ago. Can I race this thing? I don't think I can race this thing. It's gonna be, uh, quite the challenge. 
I calling blow up three things. That's my entire turn. I have to shock for it. I don't think I calling. I just can't cast a follow up spell after that. Can I draw to kill this? It's not non land, so it will kill the Urza Saga. Right? I'm pretty sure. Is it non land? Oh, it is non land. Sorry. I was thinking of Crime Punishment. Crime Punishment will kill the Urza Saga. I don't even know if I have any outs to this thing. I guess the outs to go over the top of it, so. Let's do that. Or at least try. Don't murder me. Yeah. Why is the token not killed with calling ritual? It has indestructible. I think I just go upstairs. <laughs> We're gonna get the shadow spear, equip it. I have the calling ritual. What are you gonna do? Murder me? Yeah, they are gonna murder me. Yeah, ritual and the grist. And it's like, hmm, probably still don't survive. We'll see. We'll try our damnedest. Taking six this turn. Going to seven. The blow up the shadow spear. Play grist plus. Start taking four a turn. Tracking them back for a lot. They still have five cards in hand. So if they have like blacksmith skill for the shadow spear, it's definitely over. No, they're passing with white mana up, so probably. I think this deck has a way of beating, like, indestructible period. Call's just kind of messed up. One mana gain control. I'll, um, aim the firstborn. <laughs> Yeah, I need to claim the firstborn this thing. Maybe then we can win the race. We can't. Okay, hypothetical best draw. Probably say I draw a goblin bombardment. Two, four, six, eight. Hmm. I don't think I'm living through this turn. Pure steel. I'm living through this turn. I can't be right. I think I'm on the no outer. Spyro, permanent. Okay, I need this exact thing to happen. Spyro, discard a permanent, make a token, plus Gris, make a token. Draw bombardment off of Spyro, play it, and then I can sack three, four times two, plus the six. What are you naming? Goblin bombardment. Fuck you, dude. I needed that to win. <laughs> no, it's all coming off the. Oh, we're derailing. Not coming together anymore. No, I would have drawn lethal. Oh, my God. Two. Oh, plus here. Two, four, six, eight. Dead. Oh, my God. I would have killed them. <sighs> tilt. Super tilt. Block, 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 block. Spider Space, thank you so much for the tier one sub and welcome back for the four months. Appreciate you. So if I attack with everything, block with everything, and they have nothing, I go to one and I kill them with the gristle. Mm hmm. Let's do this. Thank you, Lexard, for the tier one sub as well. Welcome back for the fifth month. Appreciate you. It's needle man. This is why I don't win. What is this? What is this? I guess they have a march also. <sighs> Sucks. That's hammer for you. The stomping ground. To make a decision. Do I want to play turn 2 Grist or turn 2 Renin 6? Well, I think for the purposes of curving out, we're just going to play the Grist off a of basic swamp. 
increased. I could have, uh, I can't force this. I could have a subtlety. Subtlety would do it. Seems that they don't, though. Stonks. Chad, I'm having way too much fun playing this Eldrazi deck. I was having so much fun playing it, I started playing off stream. <laughs> I don't like that many obligators. I'm thinking about going back down on obligators. How was Teamer Breach? I think I 3 2'd with it. It was okay. Maybe it was a 4 1, I don't remember. I think the mana is bad, but the rest of the deck is like very powerful. Can we build that in Pioneer? Well, Pioneer doesn't have Eldrazi Temple. Or Ragavan or Ignoble Hierarch. So it's going to be significantly more difficult. On Earth, huh? I Obligator was hit or miss. I don't know. It was either like really good or it got pinged by Ren. <laughs> Dismember my Ignoble Hierarch. Okay. I don't really understand that, but all right. That was you in 2016. Well, now that Ren exists, the card got significantly worse. Mm. I want to croak Sir Coco this turn. I guess first things first, I'm probably just going to attack with everything and make decisions later. Well, if you're just going to do that, I guess I'm just going to ping this with Ren instead. I could sack Spyro, and then I don't think I want to sack the Spyro, do I? Mm, I guess I might as well sack the Spyro. Okay, they've given up. Um... Calling ritual seems fine against them. I think that's about it. I don't think I really want anything else. Cut a couple of blood gas because they don't block. Well, croaks is also not great. I'll get one croaks and one blood gas out of there. The Eldrazi deck next. We played it twice yesterday. So I guess I'll put the remaining three decks I have up for today on a poll. Because I have teamer cards, which I was planning on playing next. This is what teamer cards looks like. This 5 0 to League, and then I saw it on Twitter. So, Teamer cards. And then we have um, Scam Splashing White for Hollow Moonlight. As the other two decks I was planning on playing today. So, we can put it to a poll. It's like Breach, but bad. I think I just go Stomping Ground here. Stomping Ground Noble. What's the mana situation? I'm going to put a single godless shrine in the deck and call it a day. Hmm. I should start gristing again. Grist is probably just like the best thing to be doing pretty much all the time. Grist is so good. We need to find a better grist deck. Grist shell. Other than Yogg. Curse catcher. And Hex Catcher, all my spells, they've been caught. Pioneer Tron Bruise. Well, I hate to tell you that maybe Pioneer Tron doesn't work in Pioneer because there is no Tron in Pioneer. I'm gonna tell him. It's called Lotus Field. Just because there was an art leak doesn't mean that they're going to put Tron in the standard. I highly, highly doubt they're going to ever put Tron in the standard. Or Pioneer for that matter. Let's play this Bombardment. I guess. Oh, you know what? I should have tapped differently. Although I can Bombardment and then Unearth. Ignoble Hierarch. And then Bombardment again with the token. Kill one of these things. And kill both. Kind of convoluted. I guess we'll do it. It's not great. I'm 
Yeah, I know. I tap poorly, though. Which is my own fault. I'm just going to let this go. Svalun? Sure. I just get basic forest. I need this Grist to carry me right now. Uh, second Goblin Bombardment. That has really bad diminishing returns. I'm gonna ping this. Plus Chris played Lance go. Imagine damage on the stack. Goblin Bombardment tier 0. Absolutely. Alright, sacrifice my creature. And deal the damage to your creature still. That'd be nasty. I need to draw like a Coco or a Spyro. Both of them would be fantastic. Or land. That's fine too. Despair. Play something like Academy Manufacturer. No. I wanted to break Moto. This is a deck I am going to play pretty soon though. I want to play Merfolk with Mystic Reflection. And Master of Waves. So Mystic Reflection reads, choose target non-legendary creature. Next time one or more creatures enters the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies. So I want to put a Master of Waves into play with an Aether Vial. Then I want to spend two mana and cast Mystic Reflection, targeting my Master of Waves. And I want to live the dream. Respect for that completely blunt response. No. <laughs> I've played too many game object decks and they all suck. That's the dream I want to live. So you admit you want Aether Vial in that specific deck? Yes. Magic Christmas Land, hot garbage? Oh, it is. It definitely is. Can I stop drawing Goblin Bombardment? <laughs> this is too bitty Goblin Bombardment. Ooh, a Spyro. Hmm. That's interesting. Could ping kill this thing, make two Spyro tokens. Nice, I'll just fetch shock anyways. I'm gonna put. I am gonna kill this thing, excuse me. No, I can't kill this thing, I just realized. Stupid ward. I guess I could get back. It's ward's killing my vibe. Do you need to plus this ran, I guess? I forgot about Ward. I also can't kill Svaloon because they have that Mute Vault chilling back there, so they can like instant speed animate the Mute Vault, give Svaloon indestructible. Svaloon is a problem. I feel like you should be whitelisted for how many bad decks you play. I play a lot of bad decks. More Tide Shaper. I couldn't have pinged it in response to the trigger because of the ward. I could kill Grist, but I think I need to keep Grist around. I suppose now I can ping this thing, pay one, and then sacrifice a token. What's up, Fresh Kale? How you doing? I would pay Ward, yes. Ward, yes, please. May I have another? 
subtlety. I drew too many blanks that game. Oh my god, I was only drawing lands. Hmm. I'm gonna submit. Casey Johnson, thank you so much for giving a tier one sub out to Casual GC. Casual GC, welcome to the Hoodie Gang. Thank you, Casey. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a good Friday as well, my friend. Ragavan or Ignoble? I choose Ragavan because they typically don't have a turn one threat that they can block the Ragavan with unless they play a Curse Catcher here. Okay, well, the fuck does Dingo know? You know nothing, Dingo. Uh, deal? Harbinger of the Tides already. Alright. Hmm. Just gonna replay these two, say go. They play Svaloon. I want to have this Gris to be able to kill this Svaloon. Svaloon. Hopefully they don't have a subtlety. Subtlety would kind of ruin me here. I think I'm just sacking this Rogavon also. The extra mana is going to be nice eventually. There's no way I can deal another damage to it because I don't have a fetch land, so I'm just going to go face with this. Also gonna hold back to protect Grist. If they want to fire up the Mutavolt and throw one of them into the Mayhem Devil, that's fine. Where's Trellin? Anything spicier than Mono Red Tron with Blood Moons? Probably not. That's like maximum spice. I want to block block. Kind of. Check Catcher, sure. Coco. I should plus first in case I hit another Grist. Might as well Coco. Holy shit. Uh, I think I get Mayhem Devil Blood Gas, to be honest. I could get Spyro, Spyro, cycle a billion cards, though. Chat, what do I get here? More Mayhem? That's what I was thinking. More Mayhem? Yeah, I'm surprised they let that resolve as well. Because they could have just countered it, but they decided not to. I kind of want to get the Lord off the table, so... I think I should get Devil Guest. If I ever draw a Goblin Bombardment, then it's like, hmm. I've also been to Krogs at some point, apparently. Play Ragavan Mill. True. Naming Spirit. Do they have Kira? The Great Glass Spinner? I could just like Grist go at this point. Goodbye, Grist. Your job here is done. Expire on Mayhem. I don't really want to discard the other two Mayhem Devils in my hand, though. Alright, well, I think I attack with everything and then just play this Kroxa. Kroxa seems like the biggest tempo swing here. Oh, I'm shoving. Red, red, black, black. Kroxa time. One, two, three. Nope, that's a creature. I want to put like it. As few creatures into my exile zone as possible. Which I guess is like most of these. Hello, Jeremy. I saw your message. Will I stop with the Rogavon decks? Never. Just despite DT, I will continue playing Rogavon decks all day today. Blue Tron will have its time. Yeah, in the year 2014. I concur. They do have a Kira. Oh, I mean, Mayhem Devil. Oh, see, look at that. <laughs> Mayhem Devil's fantastic. Just a bunch of haters. Yeah, I saw the Grixis scam list. I played something similar, and it was terrible. 
Oh, they actually had one drop in their hand. Grixis Murktide has just like the fundamental problem of your mana base does too much damage to you. And the black cards aren't really worth it. I think if you're going to splash your color in Murktide, it's probably either green or white. And it's probably white. Getting access to Hollowed Moonlight and like Teferi is pretty powerful. I have to go Bombardment. And then third Mayhem Devil. It's pretty sweet. Two out of those three colors. So you're fundamentally going to run into mana issues at some point. Keep. Unfortunately. Let me catch up on Chad a little bit. Yeah, I greatly enjoy Jeskai Murktide. I think that deck is pretty good. I don't think it's better than normal Murktide because Blood Moon is just so much stronger right now. But I think it's like pretty solid. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of scamming today, I think. I want to try splashing white, one single godless shrine into scam, and play some hollowed moonlights in the sideboard, and some wear and tears. We're going to see how it goes. Are they playing this teamer deck? They might be playing that teamer deck that I was showing you earlier. If they are, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to get mana leaked. I guess I'll get my Gris mana leaked. That seems fine. I'll throw Grist into the fire. What? If you ephemerate Croaks, it does it sack itself even if it's escaped? Yeah. Ephemerating Croaks, it does not work how you want it to work. Is it worth putting in a Triumph as well? No. Don't play Triumphs and Scam. You always want untapped mana on turn one. Like 99% of the time. When you have to play the Malachy Rebirth as your only mana, it feels really bad, but at least, like, you have the option to do it. Whereas, like, if you're willingly playing a Triome, it's just not great. How can I play Raghavan on turn one with a Triome? I might just be playing Merc Died. I'm just going to hold up this non-assuming Coco. I'm not tilted. I deserve to get paired in a spider on whatever garbage his cocaine has compelled him to register and I have him draw as godly as he ever has to ever have the results he has. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> At MTG Salt, I could Coco here. I think the time is nigh to Coco. Could get spell pierced. Academy Manufacturer with Mystic Reflection? No. That's not as good. That's more than like one. It's more than a two card combo, right? Mystic Reflection plus Master of Waves. That's a two card combo. Oda Wara on the Insect Token. That's wild. Um. Hmm. Kind of leaning towards just playing a Spyro this turn. Discarding Double Raghavan. I think I'd do that. I mean, they have a point. <laughs> oh shit, that's really good. Let's see, it get resolved. Blab. Blab. Go. I think they have a point on all accounts there. <laughs> yep. What are you cutting for wear, tear, and moonlight? I'm probably going to try cutting some number of engineered explosives for wear, tear, and then I'm going to cut the surgical extractions for moonlight. That's not a beard. That's the cocaine dust. Fine. I will unearth my grist instead. Maybe I want to unearth Spyro. I should unearth the Spyro. I drew a grist. It's like Christmas. It's Gristmas, chat. Gristmas came early this year. I'm pinging it. Blap. Get out of here. Get out of here. Merc tide. Here comes the tide. Doo 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 doo. It's 8 8. It's 5 5. It's 5 5. Just what I wanted. Bugs. 
Just a pile of insects. Thanks, I love it. I just realized I made a mistake. I should have played the Mayhem Devil first and then the Grist. But now that I did it this way, I have to activate the Grist immediately because they could bolt the Grist if I go to play the Mayhem Devil. So I made a mistake. I missed a point of damage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But I don't want them bolting this, so... Yeah, one was playing around Mana Leak. Which I don't think that they have. But I have been seeing a lot more mana leaks pop up, so. Missed two damage. How is it two damage? It's only one damage. Mm -hmm. You play the Mayhem Devil, you sacrifice to Gris, that's one damage. And then you kill the Murk Tide, that doesn't give you another trigger because it's not sacrificing. It's only one damage. One fetch. Did I fetch? I don't remember if I fetched that turn. But if so, yeah. I fetch, sure. Agree. Big agree. I also want the run of fouls for this matchup. I don't know what I don't want. Probably trim on goblin bombardments. Yeah, three force of vigor, two collector. Oof. And two calling rituals. I'm ready for the scales matchup. Who hurt the deck designer? Don't know. Unearth's actually really good in this matchup. I don't really want to cut the Unearth. Cutting the Unearth seems uh, not ideal. Just going to cut another Blood Ghast. No, this is not Spike 75. Well, it might be Spike 75. I didn't find it from Spike. I found it on a uh, top 16 of a challenge like three months ago. This deck got that dog in them. Mayhem Devil's enough to solo beat scales. Potentially. Hmm. I guess his hand's fine. I know Spike played something similar, but I don't know if this is a 75. It doesn't seem like it is, but I don't know. I don't think you should cut Bombardment ever. You might be correct about that. I definitely should just cut all the Blood Gas, though. Blood Gas doesn't seem like it does enough in this matchup. I have the answer. Modern Staple. Run afoul. Ah, uh, the old run of hell on the Renin 6. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the forest with the Kroxa being in my hand. Sorry, we'll cast the Kroxa eventually. I kind of want to play around Blood Moon a little bit, which is why I got the basic forest. Probably grab the basic swamp sometime soon. I don't know what they had in hand. I guess I'll keep this. It doesn't seem fantastic. I don't think I've conceded, but I should have. There you go. Isn't this some Oblivion music? I'm kind of feeling some Oblivion right now. Might be too loud. Yura. Yeah. I think we should be able to outgrind this deck relatively easily. Famous last words before I'm never able to outgrind this deck. I think I'm just going to jam the Goblin Bombardment. And have like good turns for the rest of the game. Your rhinos never get pinged by Ren and Six. Lotus Field? Excuse me? Spike. I guess they're just playing that Jeskai Lotus Field deck then. They have Blood Sun. They don't have Blood Moon, they have Blood Sun. Blood Moon, Sun, Blood Sun. Yeah, grew that. Um, decisions. So I could play Noble, Grist. I'm pretty sure they have Cryptic Command. Unironically, they 99% have Cryptic Command. So I think the best way to combat Cryptic Command is probably just play the Mayhem Devil plus Noble. Blood Moon 2, Blood Sun. Show me the cryptic. This also walks into fury though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think that's okay. Unless I tap poorly and just can't cast the spell. Running into fury and then they're gonna two for one me. That's fine. Cause like fury's still good next turn. Cryptic. 
That deck plays four Solitudes, four Fury, four Cryptic Command, four Teferi. There's that Blood Sun, so you shut off all my fetch lands. I can resolve two things this turn. I'm just gonna resolve this Coco. Boop and boop. I'm just binning all these fetch lands. Tokens are nice and all, but getting actual card density in the matchup seems good too. Especially since I'm probably going to get Fury here. The holding onto the lands is very helpful if I have um, a Ren and Six Emblem out. I get the untap too, so this could mean that they have Cryptic Command up still because they can untap these too. Getting Blood Gas had to have been right. Yeah, I could see that. I'm probably just not playing those fetch lands anyways. They just don't do anything. I have no answer to the Blood Sun. Hey, Wiretap, yeah. Having a pretty good Friday so far. Hope you have a beautiful Friday as well. And it's Mufasa Friday. Hell yeah. Solitude? On the Mayhem Devil? Uh, opponents over there tapping like me. Super struggle tap. Memory Deluge. I will let the fairies dying. Me Mayhem Devil. Do I have any super sick lines? I have a Mayhem Devil in the bin. I guess I'm unearthing the Mayhem Devil, casting the Croaks, uh, dealing one damage to the Teferi, attacking it for three, and then casting the other Croaks. Uh, I don't have enough colors for that, though. I could always ping it. Oh. Favorite MTG streamer ignored you? That's what PT does. I could also Grist Minus and just kill it. I guess Grist Minus is a little bit better. And then I get to also follow up with a Kroxa. I could still get my Mayhem Devil back as well. Alright, we got some plays here. Oh, I should have attacked them. I missed the point of damage. Rip. You hate to miss a point of damage like that. You hate to see it. Yeah, name a more iconic duo than Dingo and Punting. Spittin'. Can you play Grist in an Omori creature deck? Yeah, DT did that. <laughs> yes, you can. He played an Oops All Creatures Omori deck and it had Grist in it. It was like a dredge deck. Goodbye, Ren. I'll remember you. So now I can go Kroxa, Unearth, Kroxa, Escape Kroxa. I'm just gonna escape Kroxa this turn. So don't I have this stupid basic forest. I'll leave the company in there. Yeah. I'll leave the company. Not that I think it matters. I love the whack. Okay. Solitude, sure. I mean, I think this is fine still. I have a Coco. How did he call it? No top decking. Fury. Okay. That's good for them. Wrist, blood gas. Bring back the blood gas. Act for one. I think I think I just play the red and six. I can play second blood gas. I can croak, so plus escape croak, so let's play second blood guest. No. Ren and Six is better for threatening ultimate. Nope. I still don't think they win, even with the solitude into the fury. Oh. Hello, Spyro. How you doing? 
I guess I should have croaks it first. I'm not going to discard this croaks though. I think this is like random game actions time. I also didn't buy their Kahira, which is kind of interesting to me. Why you no buy Kahira, opponent? Croaks, uh, vomit stuff onto the board. Make you discard? Your last card was a Blood Sun. That's a redraw. Why not cast that? I think I'm actually going to play this Wooded Foothills. No. Nah. I can ping them. Play the Wooded Foothills. Get the Blood Gas back. Attack them with everything. Oh, they have a Memory Deluge. I understand. That's right. I forgot. So I can find a Fury. That's why I didn't cast the Blood Sun and Bike Hero. Completely forgot about that because they cast that like 80 turns ago. They cast that on like turn 4. 5. Yeah, that makes sense. So they're going to refill two cards in their hand. I did for Gore. Seem one of those two is going to be a Fury. I have too much card advantage in my hand though. I want an Ash. My Grist. My cards. I land, get back Blood Gast. Attack with everything, Coco. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Cryptic. I. Croak said is. Least controversial opinion of them all. Yeah, DT's goaded. When it comes to not talking shit. Never heard DT talk a single word of hatred before. Could have waited on it. I could not have waited on it. They cast Cryptic on beginning of combat. I can't crack Fetchlands because of Blood Sun. They've given up. There's no VOD to prove it. Stupid Lotus Field has Hexproof. Otherwise, I would say Fulminator Mage would be a good pickup. But I don't think it is. So instead of Fulminator Mage, we shall simply side. I think nothing. It's a bit. Yeah, the Blood Sun's unfortunate. Blood Sun removes the Hexproof. I forgot about that. It does, you're right. Alright, that's the reason to bring your Fulminator. This goes to a game 3, we'll bring the Fulminators. I completely forgot that Blood Sun removes Hexproof. Yeah. Good call, chat. This will be fine. Dies next turn. We'll be fine. March. It's been a minute since I've seen a March. I should be prioritizing using these. Get an Overgrown Tomb. I shouldn't have even played the Copper Line Gorge. I should have prioritized playing the Fetchland so I don't get got by Blood Sun. Yeah, March kind of fell out of favor super hard. One Bloody Sun. No Bloody Suns. Yeah, I definitely got worse with the Lurus ban. 100%. Green, black, whatever, Grist. Do they have Counterspell? Maybe a Mana Leak? Valakut Awakening. Don't really know what that's going to do for them. Besides, probably be bad. Nice, got him. I don't know. It's probably going to find him like a Blood Sun on the Lotus Field. Somebody remember Path to Exile? Somebody was telling me that Path to Exile... Oh, it was on my YouTube comments. Somebody commented on my scam video, and they were like, you should play Path to Exile against Scam Mirror, because I think Path to Exile absolutely ruins Scam. I'm like, my brother, have you not heard of <laughs> Leyline Binding? Hello? Leyline Binding is... A, like, why would you even play Path to Exile and Scam? You got Terminate. I don't know. YouTube comments be wild now sometimes. YouTube comments are a scary place. Because I also, on YouTube, I got two back-to-back -back comments of... you Got a bunch of rogsters. I'm not going to keep... Am I going to keep a one live double rog on hand? Yeah, it's got Ren and Six in it. I have to. I think it's funny that... Everybody kind of simultaneously agrees that black decks are the worst decks in the format. 
and yet Demonic Tutors and I are both over here playing black decks as our main decks. I'm keeping. Fuck it. Look, I you like thought I had a change of heart, but it turns out I've returned to the old me. <laughs> Was the beeb like, Lord forgive me, for I have returned to the old me. <laughs> it's got Bugs Buddy with the gun. Am I playing Kahira? Is this another blue white deck? Kahira again. Excuse me. My Ragavan Shadow of Doubt. Spike! <laughs> I kind of want to leave this up just so they can't fetch, but it's so stupid. I'm just going to play this run. Counterspell. Sure. Guy, thank you so much for the Prime sub, and welcome back for the third month. You're going to kiss everybody here? Alright, start with PT. My Ragster. I think I've been Goblin Bombardment Croaks, though. <laughs> if it was a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, baby, but there's too many here. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Brainstorming. Hmm. I guess I'm bombarding. And then playing Ragavan also. Okay. Jace gotta die. They're gonna trade here. So that way Jace doesn't die. This chase is going to be a problem. Good. Good. Maybe I should just play Grist minus on the Jace. That plays around Force Negation, but it doesn't play around Subtlety. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really expecting Force Negation. Teferi bounce a token. I think I'm sending both of these at Jace. Just to ensure Jace dies. Your Jace will die. We're gonna do prediction chat. We should have done a prediction. I guess it's not too late. Let's do prediction chat. Alright, four one, two minutes. Possible outcomes. One, sacrifice the opponent. Two, sacrifice the value. Uh I could deal three at J's. I'm going to wait on plusing this until post-combat. I guess I go Jace, Jace, and then Teferi. Right, fine, kill the Jace. Hope you're happy. Red, black, black, red. One, two, three, four. And a Ragavan. Croxa. So I'm going to have to play around Shadow of Doubt games two and three if it goes to a game three. More Teferis. Spinning my Croxa. I had 10 life, so Bloodgast has haste. Jam a blood gas, dash a Ragavan. It's go time. Attack to fairy, attack to fairy, attack them. Kill both your planeswalkers. Spill a card. I don't think I want to crack this fetch line because I have a Croaks on top. Do we have gas down to kill Jay's play? Yeah, I think we did have that last turn, but I wasn't paying attention to the life total. I believe we did have that though. You're correct. Croxa. Gotta have a solitude here and solitude the Croxa. Bin's counterspell. 
Black, red. As long as I don't get this basic forest. So I can get anything but the basic forest. Red, red. I messed it up. Soiled it. I don't have enough cards. I had to plus the grist first. Now I have enough cards. Red, red, black, black. So if they have a solitude, I don't want to attack into it. I'd rather them use it now. You have the solitude now, which would make less sense because I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just making me invest mana. I do have the solitude. Sure. I suppose I could double block here. Just kill it. Plus Grist before combat. I did that to like play a Croak Cell. But I could have also done it to look for another Ghast. So I should have done that pre-land drop. I'll just double block. If they have a removal spell, they have a removal spell. Pending the Grist. Are they dead? They are dead. Hey, bunny. Ren ping upstairs is always the most satisfying win. We were playing against a lot of Kahira today. Already. In the first league. It's like Kahira after Kahira after Kahira. I guess I'll bring in the Fulminators. What do I not want? More like Kadera. I get it. I'm leaning towards siding out these blood gas again, but I imagine blood gas is actually good in this matchup. So I don't really know what to side out. Ban them all. Maybe unearth. Because they have all exile based removal. Next companion bans Kahira or Bo or Obosh, excuse me. Um I'm still on the ban Umori train. <laughs> Cause I think it would be hilarious. Can I add this to the soundboard? <laughs> I love Meatwad. Meatwad's fantastic. Um, I'm going to cut some number of blood guests and some number of bombardments. I know we talked about never cutting bombardment, but here I am. Cutting bombardment yet again. New Aqua Teen Hungry Force movie next month? Oh, hell yeah. When does the Mario movie come out? That movie looks like a dumpster fire. Why Ren and Six in the Coco deck? Does the fourth Iggy make more sense? Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. I don't know what that means. I'm just, I'm going to search now. Play around Shadow Doubt, even though they let on planes. I mean, Ren and Six is just broken. Like, Ren and Six is definitely just going to win me the game right now. Just hitting, uh... Oh, Ignoble Hierarch. Yeah, I mean, Ignoble Hierarch is probably fine. Maybe you can trim, like, an Unearth. But I, th I don't know, two unearths has felt like the right number of unearths. Ren and Six is just a powerhouse of a card, though. Just picked me up a land, made them spend a pending. Seems like fantastic value. They kept a one planes opening hand on control. I don't know about that one. I feel like you have to mulligan that 100%. Even if you are going to like two cards. My ragster. I need a mountaineer. Ever thought about playing Ren and Six and Rakdos Scam? Scam is one of the decks that just does not need Ren and Six and should not play Ren and Six. Because that deck needs black mana on turn 1, and most of the time you're going to get that off of a basic swamp. So it's going to be very, very difficult for you to cast Ren and Six in the first place. And not only that, but hitting land drops and scam doesn't do that much for you. Unless you're playing, like, it would be so much better in just like a red-black mid-range deck, hence like Boomer Jund. Just don't think it does a lot. I don't see this to my hand. I could just sacrifice it and kill the Jays. I've tried it. I did try it, and it was not very good. I want to hit running lands for the past, like, four turns, which is kind of impressive.
Again, playing around Shadow of Doubt, which is why I'm main phasing the fetch. Do not want to get got by that card. They're playing like four copies of it or something. Something obscene. <laughs> Teferi, sure. Denying a draw here. Oh, Grist. I keep drawing cards that are better than <laughs> Spyro, so I'm just casting all of them. Did they shadow you? No, I hit him with a Raghavan and I revealed it. Which tells me that they're on the spike build of the deck. I mailed a Coco. No, bro, my Coco. So I'm going to hold this Copper Line Gorge to potentially discard a Spyro. I don't want to discard like Spyro and another impactful spell. I like a hero, sure. Getting myself by tapping poorly. Fulminator Mage, no. It's going to pass again. Verdict. Does not seem great. I'm gonna discard these two lands. Oh, fold later. I could blow up this triome. How much do I care about blowing the trip? Excuse me, blowing the triome up? I don't think I care. I'm just gonna leave this as a 2 2 body. Ooh, piece of cocoa. Alright, they scooped it up. Didn't really matter what we got there. 4 1. Congratulations, believers. We did it. We sacrificed the opponent. How many treasure chests do we have? Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.